Hey guys, today I'm going to make a video of Can You Trust Tolarian Community College? And this is based on two videos he posted, one of them positive and one of them negative. To be quite honest, this is very different from other people who are always positive. Uh, Tolarian Community College does offer valid criticisms. I would say he is a little soft in how he uh, deals with it, but nonetheless, I mean, this def definitely does not make Wizards of the Coast very happy. So he needs to be unbiased because he is a business. The business is not that he works for Wizards of the Coast. He does not receive money from them. Therefore, he makes the logical assumption not to beg, not to wince at every little you know word that they say. But he makes his own decision. So I, if you don't want to watch the rest of the video, which is probably like going to be a 15-minute video, then I would say that compared to other YouTubers, he is much better and he is not a sellout given what other YouTubers have done, like the Mana Source. Now, one of the best examples of someone pretending that they're not a sellout is the Mana Source. The Mana Source will always on Twitter say bad, say semi-okay things about Wizards of the Coast, but he will never make a YouTube video about it. And his rationale is that he doesn't want to deal with drama. This is the mana source. Have you listened to that recording with Darium and about MTG headquarters? That's a pretty bad recording for someone who doesn't want to deal with the drama, right? I mean, you're the center of the drama. And you apparently don't want to deal with it. The one that drama you created by saying that all those bad things about MTG headquarters. Anyway, uh, back to this video, which is going to be mostly on Tolarian. The video is good. Uh, he gives an equal opportunity and some of his criticisms are harsh. And that is what is needed in the community. If you love something, you want it to grow. If you love something and the people managing it are not doing a good job, you need to tell those people so they can do a good job. Hasbro and Wizard of Coast is a publicly traded company. That means its only objective is to do what's best in the interest of the shareholders, which is to make as much money as possible. Let me repeat that again. The objective is to make money. It is not always, sometimes making money is tied with social policy, social movement. We can see that with Nike, right? Nike and Colin Kaepernick. Uh, I'm sure Nike looked at the financials before making that commercial and they said, you know what? I think we're gonna make more money from this. If you think Nike did it just uh, out of the kindness of their heart or even because they truly believe in that particular social movement, I, I'm gonna tell you a business is a business and the only goal of the business is to make money for the shareholders. And actually, if that was not your goal, if you said that, oh, well, that was not a goal, we put that at risk, you would be let go and sued because that's what a corporation is. And that is its only goal. So Tolarian Community College is treating this as a corporation. I do feel like his opinions are more balanced than uh, many other YouTubers. And this is because he is a large business. He is more of a corporation than the mana source or smaller YouTubers. Um, he has been he has hired editors. He's been on record for saying that he hires people to help him uh, with the company. He has his own office. Uh, most YouTubers just uh, make videos from like their home or something, right? Or their parents' basement, maybe, maybe. And at the very least, he's never done a GoFundMe. And that's a, a very important difference in my opinion. Um, and the difference why that's so readily important is he has received donations before to fix his basement when it flooded and other things that I thought were, eh, I mean, borderline kind of weird. Um, I mean, if bad things happen during that time, I'm pretty sure that Houston was under a flood and all my friends lost their homes. And then you have someone who's like, oh, my basement got a little wet. <laughs> I was like, okay, okay, I've had enough of this. I'm pretty sure it's the same time that Hurricane Harvey hit is when his basement got a tiny bit wet. And then he got one person to give him $5,000 on, I forget, must have been Patreon maybe. But my point is that he is at least, at least on the platform that he's biggest, 
he's saying some negative stuff. Um, the most YouTubers liked Weds when they quote are not selling out to TCG player and co. They say the bad things on Twitter about Wizard of the Coast. But you understand his Twitter is all politics and I mean it gets lost. If you look at Wedge's videos, he doesn't ever criticize Wizard of the Coast. And he would never make a video like Tolarian did. And you could say that's because he is less into drama or he's whatever, more community. He loves the community so much he doesn't want to bring more drama. This dude brings all the drama. You just don't know, right? It's on these private Skype it, Skype sessions. And, you know, that wasn't the only private Skype session. And I'll leave it at that. There's more. And it's not, it's equally as bad. I mean, if one Skype session is him plotting with other YouTubers to take down another YouTuber. Then you have to imagine what the other Skype sessions go into that are not public, right? So that one can be made public as bad as it is. Imagine what, even I have some gripes. I'm kind of like, oh, okay, I probably shouldn't publish this. Because even I understand you know, this is not the best uh, to make public. So anyway, um, Wizards of the Coast does make millions of dollars and they will make mistakes. This To say that they never make a mistake would be unrealistic. And every company makes mistakes. Or at the very least, they could have done things a little bit better. So, to Larry Community College, he's not as bad as other people, but in the spectrum of things, I think he could be more critical. But at least he's trying to remain balanced. And that's important if he is selling product, right? He's moving product. He's moving binders. He's moving card sleeves. He's moving um, more card sleeves, I guess. More binders, deck boxes, wood and stuff. Auto magic product. And this is the way to position yourself as a business. I think the way he's doing it is correct. I might have my uh, gripes about certain issues, but I do have no gripes. I have no criticism as to the structure of his company. He is a six-figure company, probably making, I would guess, a quarter million dollars, right? From the reviews, the promotions, the Patreon, the other donations, and the meet and greets and all this good stuff. So I would imagine that his company with other employees is making a quarter million dollars. And I can appreciate that. He's a business. He's running it as a business. Rudy runs his company as a business. Obviously, you guys know that. So I'm glad. I'm glad. But it wasn't always this way. The monthly magic box wasn't done this way. The puka trade wasn't always done this way. But at least he has changed. He has changed. And I, he's smart. He has a master's in English. So he has higher, he is higher than a BA. And no matter how much uh, you talk about him teaching and not teaching, he at least has the ability to find a job, which I would contest many of your favorite MTG content creators do not have that ability. Like if you put them in a workplace, they would fail and or make excuses and or in the BBC term, ask for doles. So we call it handouts in the U.S., but they call it a dole. <laughs> I think it's a cool thing. Blank, blank, blank. Mother of eight has now received eight doles for her eight children. And they're like, oh, nice. It, it reminds me of dough, like the dare. I'm, I'm like, oh, that's kind of cute, the doles. Oh, so she received eight doles. A anyway, uh, back to this conversation. I think that Tulane Community College has realized that to survive, he has, like Rudy, he has to operate as a business as a public figure, while the majority of other smaller YouTubers um, have not. If they're trying to make survival money out of this, it will be very difficult. They're still like engaging in, I would say, very, very close to scam-like activities. Like, how can I say it? Like, it's kind of more like Yugi tubing, like Yu-Gi-Oh tubing, where you win a pack a day and stuff, but then the pack never gets sent out because the person never responds or the giveaway never happens. Um, and I think those are problems, or that these people are paying like $10 for a $2 booster pack to be opened on a channel. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you attribute value to that, but, um, or these people are, apparently they go, they have a million flea markets and every flea market they do, they they find like 25 Zendikar Festlands for 
it's like it's like unbelievable because they can easily manipulate it like i if if i wanted to like make a video about flea market from this point on i realized that you have to actually go to a flea market you have to shoot the guy who you're selling with or you at least have a camera stuff you can't just sit at home take part of your collection and then pretend that you got a flea market and oh look a black lotus i found a black lotus or i found this on ebay All right it doesn't make any sense you know what i'm saying like it does not make any sense to me because I could make those same videos and my collection's better than your collection. Therefore, I would, quote, find more. But wouldn't I want video of you actually at the flea market, right? It would be really cool if you found a Black Lotus at the flea market, even if it was kind of like scripted, I guess. And then you bought it there at the flea market. Kind of like uh, video games, right? That's one of the things that a lot of video gamers, um, they have to show the footage of them buying the game at the flea market instead of, oh, I bought this game at flea market, just trust me, just trust me, right? Anyway, back to uh, Tularian Community College. There are some issues, but at least he is professional. Uh, if anything, I cannot criticize him for being unprofessional at this point in time. I did criticize him in the past, especially on the monthly magic box, which he didn't like. And I think he, it's the evolution of magic channels that will it's the evolution and either the mana source has to get together with it or he's going to eventually like be left behind um and you know you look at rudy look at um channel fireball channel fireball is a business of course started city games in a business if you look at the largest youtube channels and i'm just a tiny little fish in the pond right so i know pe the one thing that people will do will say you're not as big as the mana source well i also have a job and an income and this isn't my, I'm not begging for donations. So do I need to be as big as a mana source? If my sole income, like Tularian, like Weds, like Channel Fireball, uh, and like others, are, is tied up to this game, if that's the only way I'm making money, and that's the only skill set I have, then yes, you should be acting and behaving differently than someone who does this as a hobby. This is a hobby for me. This is not a hobby for Tolarian Community College. This is not a hobby for the mana source. This is their main source of income. And no matter how much you love your job, it's still a job. At the end of the day, this is a hobby for me. It's not a job. For these people, it is a job that could be a hobby, but it is defined as a job, something that produces income. The majority of their income comes from Magic the Gathering. And for someone to act like a business and have that structure... And I think Tolarian Community College, maybe in a Facebook group, from the very beginning, he had a CPA. So he's taking care of his taxes. He's probably paid them. He's probably done a good job taking care of the financial business side. Of He's very business savvy in some of the moves he makes of this. And I would say Rudy's probably the same. Channel Fireball is definitely the same. Card Kingdom. So he's more akin to the Card Kingdom and TCG player. Uh, the larger youtubers who are trying to sell cards or sell magic products or sell something because you know it's a business model other youtubers are more akin to like scammers because they're just trying to sell like things that have no value to their subscribers and i will be the first to tell you that there are some youtubers who i look at their channel and you know i, I mean if it was not on youtube if it wasn't a real business like if it was Herbalife or La 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 Rue, these multi-level marketing companies where you're trying to get people to sign up and then you sell them a pack and they have an opportunity to win. You know, lottery laws are very interesting in different states. Uh, they have different, every state has their own lottery law. And the problem with it is that your subscribers could be in different countries. So they, that law would apply. They could be, so this, these lotteries that are keep going on, uh, these continuous lotteries that are keep going on in our magic community, I just find them mm, legally gray. And if it was done in real life, they would be arrested. A lot of stuff, um, if done in real life, like if Alex Buccini stole $10,000, in this case from a store in Power 9, he would be arrested and go to jail for grand theft, right? That's over a grand. If Alex Buccini steals cheats at a GP and wins uh, $10,000 in a Power 9, he's not only 
not arrested, he is applauded and made famous, and then um, eventually he'll come back after 18 months, even if he was caught. So that's just kind of a difference, or even MTG Finance, if people were manipulating the quote, marketplace, end quote, then they would be arrested, or people were trading on inside information, like the mana source, they would be arrested. But for magic, it doesn't really matter because no one cares. It's like when you call the police over, and, uh, and then you try to explain to them that your magic cards got stolen, they're just going to laugh and leave because they're like, what? Like, what? <laughs> right? Um, and that's kind of like the SCC, Securities Exchange Commission. They're not going to investigate market manipulation and magic. Who cares? And that's the same with cheating. They're not going to, uh, the police are not going to arrest Alex for ch stealing because who cares? But that's not the right mentality to have. Uh, back to Tolarian Community College. He's changed. I think you can trust him. Anyway, bye.